What's happening, guys? Uh, video blog here. Uh, we talk about what I've been playing. Um, just want to come to you guys and talk about the newest game I picked up, Portal 2. I have no clue if you can see that, but anyway, Portal 2. Um, kind of a really random purchase, but um, you know, the truth is, I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart to get Left 4 Dead 2. Um, I had Left 4 Dead 2 a long time ago. I got rid of my 360 copy because I have it on the PC. I was like, gonna go all PC gamer and whatever, and I never did that. I haven't really played my PC games in a while. I just don't want to. So I want to get it back on the 360. I've been dying to play it, and I play my 360. I know people to have it on there that would probably play at least one or two people maybe. And um, no, I just really wanted it. So I went to Walmart, and you know I had 30 bucks and. Then I saw Portal 2 was on sale. It's just been $40 forever, and I kind of wanted to try it, but I don't want to pay full retail price because I don't really know much about it. I don't really know if it's going to be worth it. I liked the original Portal, but it, it wasn't one of my favorite things ever. It was it was pretty good. I, if you gave me the original Portal and told me that, that was going to be like a sequel that was exactly like that for $60, bucks, i would say no. So I picked the game up. Um, actually, by complete randomness, I went there and I saw Leopard 2 and I saw Portal 2. I flipped a coin. I said, if it's Tails, I'll get Portal 2. If it's Heads, I'll get Leopard And it was Tails, so I got Portal 2 and uh, took a gamble, and I'm glad I did. Because, to be honest with you guys, Portal 2 is a great improvement over the first game. And after playing it, I'd say it's probably one of the best games I've ever played. And definitely one of the best games of this generation. Not the best. I mean, I'm not going to say it's better than Dark Souls. It's not. At least for me. Um, but Portal 2 is a very, very cool game. Um, the puzzles, I don't know how they even designed them at Valve or whatever the company's subsidiary's name is, whatever that made it. But, um, yeah, that's, I just don't understand how they could even design stuff like that. Because some of the puzzles, at least in the... Okay, let me get to the point. There's a single-player game with the story and GLaDOS and Wheatley and all that stuff, you probably know. And the, the multiplayer, in my opinion, is actually better than anything the series has tried so far. The fact that you both have a portal gun, they can shoot two portals each, so it's four portals. And then you get these crazy challenges where you got to work together and use four portals, and sometimes you don't even have enough portals, you got to switch portals like mid-jump, and it's craziness, so... I don't even know how they design that stuff, and the co-op stuff is some of the most fun that you can have in a co-op game to date. Um, there's not, I, I mean, I guess there's not a ton of co-op games out there outside of shooters, so that's kind of what makes that unique. It's stuff where I've never played a co-op puzzle game in my life, so, I mean, stuff like Tetris and stuff, I don't really call it co-op or anything like that, where it's just, you're kind of both doing your own thing, this is what you have to work together to think. And the puzzles are crazy. I don't even know if some of the, the solutions to those co-op puzzles, I don't even know if those are the one, the, the, I was playing with Alpha 99 slash Rush Junkie, and I don't even know if the solutions we came up with are the right ones, or if we just came up with some weird ass stuff to actually make it happen. So, I don't know, but sometimes you, you feel like you're breaking the game to beat it, even if you're not, even if you're doing it the right way, you just you just sit there and you go, how did they think to make this puzzle? Like, And you just you feel like a genius once you figure it out. And I'm not going to lie, every time I walk into a room, every time I walk into a new chamber, I'm, I'm just like, oh, I get like really nervous. There's just so much to take in. you got to try to figure out, okay, what do I got to do? The first thing I try to do when I get in there is find out where the exit is and where I have to any of the buttons or switches in the room. And then it's just trying to figure out how to get up there and how to work with your teammate. And um, as far as the single player side, I really like the character. Uh, the voice acting is really, really good. Um, I'd say Wheatley's better than GLaDOS a little bit, but then I don't know. There's some good lines in there. I like the, um, I like all the stuff how GLaDOS is trying to get back at you for doing all the stuff you did in the first game, and uh, it's just, it's really neat. I'm not done with the, the single player yet, I still have a couple more chapters, like three or four chapters, so I mean, this is a long game, 
if you think you're going to get this game, Portal 2, beat it in three or four hours and put it on your shelf, you're wrong. Um, the co-op stuff, with the co-op stuff with the DLC that's free, it's free DLC, so you have really no excuse to say that's not included. Um, probably take you upwards to seven to ten hours. It took me, it took about seven hours to go through the co-op, the regular co-op, and then the um, DLC was like a couple hours because it's really hard, so it took a long time for us to get through it. So, so like seven to ten hours it should take you to get through this with a friend. And then the single player is different. I've been playing the single player for a few hours, I think. So overall, you're getting, you know, 10 to 20 hours probably out of this game. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure. I'm just coming up with that. Maybe 10 to 15. Either way, probably about 15 to be a safe bet. You're getting that out of this game. It's 30 bucks now. So there's a lot of content in here. They really tried to make this a full game. First game felt like some kind of experiment. Um... Sorry, that's my stomach. I haven't eaten dinner yet. It's pretty late, but we're going to be having dinner soon. Anyway, I'd say I'd give this game, so far, I've played a bit. I've played through all the co-op and probably at least at least half or better of the single player. Right now, I'd give this game probably like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's that good. So, um, there's just a couple of little niggling things that reason why it's not a perfect game. Um, but it's pretty damn close, so if you didn't play this game last year, you should pick it up now for $30. Great deal. You can probably get it on Steam for like 10 or 20 when it's on sale, or even less, um, if you're going that route. So definitely get it. If you get this game, let's play. Co-op's freaking great. Okay, um, I'm just going to have a quick run through the other games I've been playing. Mass Effect 3. I haven't played the single player yet. I want to, but I don't know when I'm going to do that, because I've been kind of occupied with Portal. I'm not really in the mood for Mass Effect 3. Kind of worn it out because I'm playing it so much in the multiplayer, but multiplayer is still really good. Um, getting new guns and stuff is still really awesome. And um, I got the Carnifex pistol recently, which is like practically a sniper pistol, uh, like a revolver or whatever. That's pretty awesome. Um, still haven't gotten the Widow sniper rifle, but I did get the Javelin, which is pretty much the same. Um, yeah, it's definitely, this is a great game, multiplayer game. I, I wish people wouldn't overlook it just because they think that it's a single player only game or it's throwaway or whatever. It's fun, it's addicting, I'm playing a little bit of that. Um, and Battlefield 3, I kind of hopped back into Battlefield 3 recently. Um, I've been playing with, once again, Alpha 99 and a uh, little bit with Arcavio. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for the patch to come out. The patch is supposed to be coming out, like, within, you know, a week or two, probably. Um, fixes a lot of problems with the game that need to be fixed. But anyway, back to the game. Um, having a blast with this game, I forgot how much fun it is. Um, so much better than Call of Duty, still, and probably always. I've also been playing Halo Reach, just over there, and I'm not gonna get it, but yeah, Halo Reach. I've been playing those two games, but mostly this game recently, um... I really like the multiplayer in this game. Uh, the conquest mode is a blast, blast when you have a squad full of, or just any any co-op. Playing conquest is awesome. Getting your vehicles together, dodging tanks. One of the best moments was me and Alpha 99. We're running through, um, we're running through this field and we're trying to like flank the enemy, and then I just hear him go tank to the side of you, and I'm like. I don't see any tank, and then all of a sudden this tank just rolls up and BOOM! Kills us both. Um, and then I, I had a, a moment where I was in a jet, which I was flying like a drunk, and smashed it into a building, broke the wall, but the plane was fine, and I just stepped out of the plane like, okay, I guess I, I, guess I parked it. <laughs> so don't ever let me fly an air vehicle with you inside of it with me. Don't ever let me fly an air vehicle unless you want to die. Um, the only one I can kind of fly is the uh, Falcon or whatever it's called in Halo Reach. That's it. Because there's a um, altitude like lock so you don't go too crazy and stuff. That's about the only reason I can play that game. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come and give you a little update on what I've been playing. Um, I got some Microsoft Rewards points coming in next month, and I actually got quite stacked up on Rewards points. I'm having like 
eight or nine hundred points. You know, by the time that comes in, about a thousand points. So, um, thinking of buying the Gears Three DLC with that, um, the last map pack because I have the other stuff, so you might as well. Um, is it that or get some kind of arcade game? I don't know what to get. I really want to get Smash TV, but Smash TV is not on the live arcade anymore. And I, I, I know Williams and Midway and all the licensing stuff. I, I know Williams, not Williams, God, Warner Brothers or whoever has it. The people that have the license to that stuff, they have they have the rights to publish that stuff again because they released a collection on the iPhone, iPad, whatever. They have like Total Carnage and. I think like Joust and stuff like that. So they have the license. They just need to bring it back to Live Arcade. I'm waiting for that. I know it's not a great version of Smash TV, but I just, I, I love Smash TV. I never got a chance to pick it up before they took it off. So I'm hoping that comes back soon. Other than that, I don't know. So uh, I guess we're going to just cut this off here. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I enjoy coming here and talking and telling you what I've been up to. So. I'll leave you with that, and I'm just going to say, buy Portal 2. It's freaking awesome. So, uh, I'm banging everything here. Anyway, see you, guys. See you later, guys.